sponsored by Tri-Cities Skin and Cancer. Once again, we've made our way over here to Tri-City Skin and Cancer in Johnson City, and I just heard a new term that I've never heard before. It's called skin vestment. It's investing in your skin. I love that term. I love that term. <laughs> and I'm joined right now by Amanda Horton. And Amanda, thanks for having us out here. Well, thank today. you. Thank you for coming. I love out. coming here because I learn something every time I come. Well, here. good. I'm glad. That's what I want you to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's learn a little bit about our age. You know, we all start thinking about our skin usually when we're teenagers. When should you really start investing in your skin? Well, that's, I mean, it, honestly, everyone want, needs to invest starting in their 20s, okay. really. Um, the main thing to do in your 20s is obviously prevention and exfoliation is key. Okay. So sunscreens, um, exfoliate, and then that's the time you can actually start with microdermabrasions. Mm. And, you know, if you're still dealing with some acne, that's great. <laughs> you know, it's wonderful for that. But you can take care of that. Yes. And then, you know, we move out of the 20s. Okay. We have all those, you know, college mm -hmm. and all that. We move into our 30s and things mm -hmm. are different. Stresses are different. Mm -hmm. Things are different with your skin as well. Yes. And so in your between your 30s and 40s, you start seeing more changes, I guess, from the sun that, you know, maybe we have collaborated over the years with mm -hmm. and too much sun exposure. So that's when you start looking into procedures for you know, evening out the skin tone. Okay. That's definitely when you need to start Botox. Mm. So that's gonna help prevent expression lines. Um, and then of course, some people even require fillers, you know, for the small lines that we've had all, you know, most yes. of our younger youth, we've been smiling a lot. So it catches up with us. And things like peels and things of that nature yes, as well. Yes, right? absolutely. Yes, some moderate depth chemical peels that usually will kind of exfoliate that dead skin off, mm -hmm. help even out some skin tone. So those are all great options to start with in between your 30s and 40s for sure. So definitely when you move into the 40s, things mm -hmm. change again. That you, each decade, yes. something changes. Something changes. So in your 40s, of course, everyone's different. Mm -hmm. However, going into your 40s, kind of moving towards your 50s, you definitely need to reestablish collagen. So that's when your collagen producing procedures are necessary. So that's when you need to do pixel eight with some radio frequency. So that's mm. gonna help with texture and tightening of the skin. So those are all important. Definitely, if you're not already doing those that you need to start. And I know so. there's gonna be folks out there right now, you mentioned <laughs> some things there, they're gonna be like, what's that? But you have the yes. answers. That, all they gotta do is call and mm -hmm. find out about it. Right? Absolutely, yes. Just call us, we do free consultations. Um, and so we can kind of lead you down that path that you need for the specific concerns right. that you may have. And of course, yeah. we've got it that, that last age group, that mm -hmm. 50 plus group, some special <laughs> needs there Yes, as well. um, moving into your 50s, of course, it depends on what kind of life you've led. If you've mm -hmm been born and raised at the beach, obviously you're going to have a lot more sun damage. Um, everyone ages differently. So that's when you definitely need to not only do all the previous procedures, mm -hmm. if you need to play catch up, that's fine too. Um, but definitely at that point, you need to look into possibly laser resurfacing, mm. which we do um, here at our office. Okay. It's CO2 laser resurfacing. Our physician at the moment that's doing that is Dr. Winton. And so that's, that's a great procedure, especially if you've got a lot of sun damage, a lot of moderate wrinkles. Um, but also we do soft wave, which is a lifting procedure. So if you're not quite ready for the facelift or the neck lift and you're wanting to try something first right. and you know ward that off, then that's a great option. That's the first time I think mm -hmm. I've heard about that. Yeah. That's, that's fascinating. Yes, really technology is. is definitely And you have coming. all the latest technology. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, I we love do. that, I love that. And you're also, and I want to say thank you, taking part mm -hmm. in our Spread the Love campaign. Yes. And talk to us about that. So I know that February is known for obviously doing injectables for your lips and all that, but we're deciding to go a different direction and we're giving away a perfect derma peel. So we're showing the entire skin some love. Nice. So that's well, what we're giving away. The skin, yes. the skin, our skin mm -hmm. is our biggest organ in our yes. body. Yes. So you gotta take it. Absolutely. And a Absolutely. great place to do that is right here at Tri-City Skin and Cancer. Amanda, thank you so thank much. You. Thank I, you. I did coming. learn some things. Well, good, good. All right. <laughs> Folks, you can learn a lot just by giving them a call. Check them out right here at Tri-City Skin and Cancer. The preceding segment sponsored by Tri-City Skin and Cancer.